welcome back hey how are you how's it going so today's video is kind of self-explanatory due to the title i don't know how i'm gonna call it yet but you know whatever it's titled it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory so i'm gonna be showing you guys my workout routine that i have given myself for lockdown because you know there is nothing really left to do here i pretty much ran out of things to do so I ended up getting the motivation to get back into working out and I already know you guys are already thinking you're working out again like we've heard this before. I know, I said the exact same thing but you know what? Now is actually the best time to go into working out again because literally there is no excuse. I am at home 24 seven and if I'm not working out or if I'm not trying to find things to do, I am just sitting on my ass, just binging either Empire or burlesque or other movies or whatever. So yeah, I don't really wanna do that anymore. So that's where this workout comes from. And of course, you guys already know that I have been trying to work out and get my body to where I want it to be for the longest time, but for some reason, I just couldn't keep up with working out. I'm gonna be honest about that. I would just forget about it and even though I knew I had to work out like I was like no I'll just do it tomorrow and then it kept on leading on and leading on and it never happened ever again so that was my problem for the longest time so now that I'm on lockdown I'm just like okay there's no excuse let's get it so I have given myself this workout and I have made it a little routine to do it every single night but if for some reason I you know forget to do it in the nighttime or you know it crosses my mind or for some reason it just doesn't happen I make sure to make it up by doing it the next morning after I wake up and get ready for the morning so like I said no excuse so jumping into the workout I pretty much follow these two ladies one for abs and one for the legs and the butt I didn't want to just focus on my butt because I've been focusing on that for a while and honestly I just got really bored of just focusing on one thing so I decided to add more to it so I also added in the abs and the legs so I follow these two ladies the first girl that I follow is Holly Dolk I think that's how you say the last name. She is the one that I follow for the abs. And then the second lady's name is Heather Robertson and she does a video of legs and butt together. So I felt like that one was perfect. So I watched it and I started doing it and I was dying, guys. Believe me when I tell you, this workout makes you die. Or at least it makes me die, so. Alrighty, so starting off with Holly Dolk, like I said, she focuses a lot on the abs and the lower abs. So first thing that we start off with are in and out abs 20 times. And then once she is done with the in and out abs, she automatically jumps into the single arm crunches 10 times each for each arm, so a total of 20 times. And by this point, guys, I am already getting tired. That's when my abs are starting to feel it. Now, I should probably mention, she does no breaks in this workout. She just jumps right into the next one. I, myself, have to give myself little breaks. I try to go through all of it, but it is a little difficult, so I give myself tiny, tiny breaks and then automatically jump right back in. So next, I go ahead and jump into ankle tap crunches, and those are 20 times. And by then, my abs are already burning. It is insane. Then we got our angle leg raise 10 times each and this one actually isn't all too bad thankfully so I kind of see this one as like a little break in a sense. The thing that makes it intense because I know it probably doesn't look difficult but what makes it intense is the fact that she stays in a crunch position the entire time she does all of these different workouts. So not only are my abs, you know, burning, but my head is also because it's just up the entire time. I don't know. Gonna go ahead and do the leg swing and knee crunch, which is 10 times each for each leg, making it a total of 20 times. Then we have our controlled leg swing, 10 times each leg. 
Now we got cross leg crunches 10 times each on each leg. Now for the butterfly crunch 10 times and then she finishes it off with mini pulses. By then I'm already done with this workout. I'm already tired. I feel myself starting to sweat. It's intense guys. Believe me when I tell you it is intense. Then she finishes it off with legs up and down five times for each leg. So this one may seem simple, but again, she keeps herself held up in the crunch position the entire time she does this, so believe me when I tell you, it burns. <laughs> Alrighty, so after I finish my ab workout, I automatically jump into Heather Robertson's leg and butt burner. So for her workout, she starts off with regular squats. And all the workout moves that she does in this video, they are all for 30 seconds each. So she starts off with squats for 30 seconds. So as soon as she finishes the 30 seconds of squats, she will pulse for the next 30 seconds. And by here, my thighs are already warm enough, they're already feeling the burn, and they're just waiting for what's to come. Next thing I do are leg sliders for 30 seconds. So after I finish the leg slider, I jump into the curtsy kicks and I start off with the right leg and then work it to the left. Once I finish with those, I start with 30 seconds of leg lifts. Now for this whole section, it's like three workouts. I'm just focusing on the right leg first and then doing the same thing for the left leg. So for the right leg, I go ahead and do the leg lift. And once the leg lifts are finished, I pulse it pretty high, get that leg up there and just pulse for the next 30 seconds. And then I finish it off with the kickback combo. So once I finish with the right, I automatically do the same thing to the left side. And let me tell you, it is so hard to balance on one leg while doing those workouts. Like the leg that I am balancing on as I'm working out on the other one is just dying. <laughs> it's like giving up. And I'm just like, ah, I need to hurry. Like my leg is starting to bug me. Yeah, it's 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 something. <laughs> okay, so once I finish the workouts for the left side of my leg, I jump into the glute bridge. And when I do the glute bridge, I like to tighten my bosom so it gives it that good workout. So I know it's working out pretty well. And once that is done, I go ahead and do one leg bridge. So I start off with the right for 30 seconds, and then I do the left leg for 30 seconds. And then I turn around and I do one leg frog kicks. And these ones are actually interesting, guys. Like, when I first saw Heather doing this in her video, I was like, okay doesn't seem that bad but then when I tried it I feel like I'm doing it wrong so I don't know <laughs> I'm trying I guess that's what matters I'm trying so once the one leg frog kicks are set I jump into the frog kicks so that is with both of the legs this time instead of just one and the other And then I finish it off with some hammy curls. These ones are actually kind of like 
is it really a workout or am I just doing it wrong because I didn't really feel anything happening I don't know I probably was doing it wrong I don't really know but that's about it for my little workout sesh that I've given myself and then of course when I'm done I kind of just stretch it out a little bit I don't just stop there I let my body relax I you know make sure that my body is ready to call it a night <laughs> or a day <laughs> depending if I do it at night or during the day but yeah guys that is basically what I have been doing to keep my body going throughout this lockdown like I said I'm not really trying to keep my ass sitting down for so many amounts of time like I want to actually like put work into it instead so that's where the workout routine came from and I've been at it for about a week and it's actually been pretty good I've been feeling pretty good I feel so accomplished when it's done so I feel like that's a plus for me <laughs> and also I know I don't really have the proper workout attire haven't thought about buying any so I kind of use what I have so in this case you know you saw I was just using a basic t-shirt and some shorts I mean all that matters is that I'm working out right <laughs> okay guys so that is gonna conclude today's video thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below how you have been keeping up with this lockdown. Have you been trying out some new skills? Have you been learning new things? Have you been binging TV shows and movies the way that I've been doing it? Do you have a workout routine that you've been keeping up with? Whatever it is, comment down below because I'm very curious to know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!